Pasto's Biology, Biology 2115, Human Anatomy and Physiology 2. My email is jpasto at mgc.edu. My website is mgc.edu slash faculty slash jpasto. We have to understand what we mean by cardiac output. Cardiac output is the volume of blood pumped per minute by each ventricle. The average cardiac output at rest is 5 liters a minute. We need to look at those factors that determine cardiac output. Now in this scheme you'll notice arrows. An arrow in front of the parentheses and an arrow within the parentheses. And throughout this chart the arrows in front of parentheses correspond to one another and the arrows within the parentheses correspond. It's simply a shorthand way of saying if there is an increase or alternately a decrease in some event that causes a corresponding change. In this case an increase or a decrease. So what are the factors that determine cardiac output? Well cardiac output is determined by two things. One is heart rate. That is how fast the heart beats. Obviously, if the heart beats faster, more blood is pumped in a minute. So we need to take a look at those factors that determine heart rate. Here's a schematic view of the control of the heart rate by the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. In the medulla of the brain is the cardiac center. Now the cardiac center is rather complex, but it includes a cardio-inhibitory center and a cardio-accelerator center. The cardio-inhibitory center transmits nerve impulses by way of the parasympathetic nervous system, which remember is the vagus, to the SA node. It secretes acetylcholine as its neurotransmitter. The cardio-accelerator center transmits by way of neurons of the sympathetic nervous system to the SA node. The sympathetic neurons secrete the neurotransmitter norepinephrine. So the parasympathetic nervous system slows the firing of the SA node, thereby decreasing the heart rate. The sympathetic nervous system increases the firing of the SA node, thereby increasing the heart rate. One factor is the parasympathetic input to the heart. Now remember, the parasympathetic system decreases the heart rate, so in order to increase heart rate, the parasympathetic input to the heart must decrease. Keep in mind that the parasympathetic and sympathetic input to the heart is continuously active. During rest and relaxation, parasympathetic control is dominant, during strenuous activity, stress, fight and flight, the sympathetic input is dominant. So the other factor that affects heart rate is sympathetic input. An increase in sympathetic input would increase heart rate. There is another factor that influences the heart rate, and that's the circulating epinephrine. If there's an increase in circulating epinephrine, that too increases heart rate. Notice the end result is the increase in heart rate leads to an increase in cardiac output.